Healthcare.gov was down last night at 5 o'clock p.m. It was also down on Monday, and it crashed last weekend. And even this morning, when we attempted to view the site before the hearing, we were hit with an air message. So I would urge my colleagues to stop hyperventilating. The problems with healthcare.gov are unfortunate, and we should investigate them, but they will be fixed. you got to use that mic. You don't know how many people want to hear you this morning. During, uh, before, during, and after the law was passed, the president kept saying, if you like your health care plan, you can keep it. So is he keeping his promise? Your plan. Your let me move, let me move on. It's what they wanted, and I will remind you. Some people like to drive a Ford, not a Ferrari, and some people like to drink out of a red Solo cup, not a crystal stem. So who is responsible for overseeing this project? Is it you or your designee? Let me be clear. I'm not pointing fingers at Verizon. I'm trying to explain the way the site operates. We, are, we own the site. The site has had serious problems. I Who know is that. in charge, Madam Secretary? The person now in charge as an integrator is QSSI, one of our... Who was in charge the as it was CMS being team built? was in charge uh, up till... At that team, who is the individual? Michelle Snyder is the... Michelle CEO. Snyder is the one responsible for this debacle. Well... Excuse me, Congresswoman. Michelle Snyder is not responsible for the debacle. Hold me accountable for the debacle. Okay. I'm responsible. Thank you. I yield Thank back. You, there is a um, famous movie called The Wizard of Oz, and in The Wizard of Oz, there is a great line. Dorothy, uh, at some point in the movie, uh, turns to her little dog, Toto, and says, Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. Well, Madam Secretary, while you're from Kansas, we're not in Kansas anymore. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I know we're not in Kansas, but I do believe increasingly we're in Oz because of what I see here. So this Wizard of Oz comment by my colleague from uh, Texas, I think, is particularly apropos given what we hear on the other side of the aisle. I don't know how you keep your cool, Madam Secretary. He's going to use the gavel on me if you don't hush. Um, I, I want to really uh, congratulate my Republican pals for being absolutely 1,000% consistent. You love what's wrong with the website, and you detest what's working in the Affordable Care Act. So I, 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 I have confidence, but I know that um, it, it isn't fair to ask the American public to take our word for it. I've got to fix this problem, and we are underway doing just Very. that. But are you Madam Secretary, before I start my questions, the Washington Post um, gave the administration and the president yourself four Pinocchios on this whole debate of if you like the insurance you have, you can keep it. Um, would you recommend to the president that he stop using that term? Wouldn't that be helpful in this debate? Well, sir, I think he used the term at the time that the law was passed. And, he and as of September say, 26th also. So That's why we gr wrote So the, the answer is you don't abide, you don't believe that the Washington Post and therefore, Washington Post. well, we'll hand this down to yeah, you, and, you and so you can see it. Um, have you ever shopped, I know you have, but this is for a, uh, at a grocery store with a coupon? Yes. You ever used a coupon? Yes. yes. By who? Who made the, the, I the problem with this whole debate is you all won't tell us who made the decisions. Well, I can tell you I did not. Design so who? The site. I will get. Well, who made the decision on the 27-year-old quote for someone would, who's 50? I just said I will get you that information. Thank, sir. thank you. Um, if someone, a constituent of mine, or someone in this country has strongly held pro-life views, oh, here we go. Can you provide for the committee the list of insurers in the federal exchange who uh, do not offer? as part of their package abortion coverage. I think we can do that, sir. Well, you should be able to do it. I, so, I just said. No, you said if we can do it. No, I think we can do that okay. is what I, I said. I think or I know we can do it. I, sir, <laughs> I, I can't tell you what I don't know firmly you, right now. I know that is the plan. I will get that information to you. I, you know, my Republican colleagues' actions here remind me of a story I read when I was a little boy, and that's the story of Chicken Little who ran around yelling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. But unlike Chicken Little, my Republican colleagues are actually rooting for the sky to fall. Running and functional, which we clearly have failed to do uh, to date, although I would suggest the website has never crashed. 
Uh, it is functional, but at a very slow speed and very low reliability and has continued to function. Having Sir, said, clearly, as I've said before, we did not adequately do end-to-end -end testing. Did not. And uh, frankly, I, I think it is not um, valuable at this point right. to do a lot of um, pointing blame, fixing the blame. What I want to do is fix the problem. And, and so I, no, sir, we do not have any reliable data around enrollment, which is why we haven't given it right. to date. Great. Has each piece of that code that's been introduced in the system been security tested? That's my understanding, yes, sir. And the each testing... Pe each the, piece of that code has um, been tested. I, yes or I no? Should not, I don't know. Okay. Um, that's but I can that's, tell you that security that's a much testing safer answer, trust is me. an ongoing operation that as code is loaded, you need to retest uh, over and over and but, over again. So whether it's pre-tested, right, I can't right, you tell you. You need to test the code. Have, tab, if you go to tab two quickly in your book, I'm going to read three things I'm from... I'm sorry, what book, sir? Uh, you have a tab there. There's, if you go to I, tab two... I, Right there. Well, you, while you're looking, I'll read. Stay. Amazon would never do this. Pro Flowers would never do this. Kayak would never do this. In a point this, of order, yeah, I think the witness ought to be allowed to answer a, what was a speech by the colleague uh, because he's raised if, a lot if, of issues. The general lady will you mean there's been no other speeches we'll, here we'll today? Move. That's shocking. Mr. Chairman, there are people using this system today, and she's just shit. admitted again the system isn't secure, gentlemen, nor has it been tested. Gentlemen, Mr. Gentlemen, Mr. That. Chairman, she didn't That's admit dangerous. that. She, you said it, but she didn't right. say it. Gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, I'm always sensitive to committed decorum, and before I do it uh, this morning, I want to ask unanimous consent that I be allowed to display the Democratic Twitter handle. Go right ahead. You're in no objection. Thank you.